Hey, how you doing? What's up guys, it's your girl Brittany D. Hold on, wait. Focus, focus, focus. That's better. It's your girl Brittany D. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new, welcome. If you are a returning customer, we are happy to have you back. Hit the like button and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I wanted to give you guys five quick tips on how to rediscover yourself in your 20s and reignite purpose. So you might be in a situation where you feel like where you are in your life right now isn't where you want to be or you could be doing more or you just want to try something different something is just burning up inside of you so about three four years ago i made the decision to lead with intuition and kind of like drop all the stigmas and the um expectations of other people and my parents and pretty much go for the dream life that i always wanted and not wait until you're a certain age until you have a certain income or you're in a specific sp stage in your life but to go for it now because happiness does not wait and success is solely dependent upon happiness and true happiness within self so with that being said here are my top tips tip number one is self love and self work p definitely finding some start in your self work journey is going to be super important in all of this because you have to rediscover who you are and exactly what you want and what it is that you need to fine tune within yourself to propel you towards the life that you want that may look like some shadow work that may look like some deep spiritual work it may look like therapy or counseling or maybe even life coaching to help guide you into pulling out the missing pieces that you are probably wondering about yourself in your life once you do get into this self-work you will discover a newfound love for yourself and I love to preach that self-love is the epitome of any decision, any aspect in your life whenever you are trying to succeed or propel yourself. If you cannot love yourself wholeheartedly, unconditionally, and with genuine love, you cannot love anyone else, you cannot love what you do, you cannot love the spaces that you're in and truly pour into other things if you're not pouring into yourself. Working on building self-confidence, self-love, and just kind of like bringing more... Bruh. ...will definitely attract the right energy that you're gonna need in order to see more clearly into the perspective that you want to see. Number two, forgiveness. Yeah, I, I don't forgive, I forget, or whatever. Some people are really reluctant to forgiving, especially if they've been done very wrongly or you know just haven't developed the strength, the inner strength to forgive anyone for your own sake. But I must tell you that forgiving those that may have shaped your life to where you are right now in the space that you're unhappy with is super important in order for you to get out of that space and move into a life that you truly want. Let's say for example, your parents were really hard on you to pursue a career that you didn't really want to pursue or you probably were sheltered by strict parents that didn't really immerse you into the hobbies and the things that you always wish you wanted to do and so you kind of resent them and you resent that action and so now the thing you always really wanted to do is almost like their fault that you're not doing it so it's really important to forgive you know especially our parents a lot of our childhood trauma a lot of our um a lot of the things that need tweaking in our personalities and in our in our shadow work comes from our parents unknowingly so forgiving our parents because they only were doing the best that they could at the time with what they had so forgiving them and forgiving anyone else that you may have felt impacted your life in a negative way definitely key towards a more positive and fruitful life number three be your own support system and try new things it is so crucial 
when you are inspired to change your life to try new things because you can't change your life doing the same old routines so get into the habit of finding all the things that you always wanted to try maybe take a trip maybe go somewhere new maybe go meet a new group of friends and put yourself in a group that you've always wanted to try um, and most importantly be your own support system if you are doing something positive for yourself and other people do not agree with the moves that you're making it's natural to have people not support you 100 percent and that's okay because you're doing this for yourself you're not doing it for them so being your own support and not forgetting that you are always your number one cheerleader is going to help you through this process and make it a little easier and not make you feel like you're doing it alone that leads me to number four surround yourself with like-minded people surrounding yourself with people that are either already in the field or are headed towards the field that you want is really key because like I said about having others that may not support you at least you have a group of people that you know wholeheartedly will support you because they're doing the same damn thing so finding yourself um, a networking group or maybe even going to events or doing some research and finding some workshops webinars um, find yourself some coaches with a really broad audience online and just kind of find these communities that you fit into the new niches that you want to fit into having like-minded people not only helps you with physical support but it gives you mental support it helps you not feel alone in this journey and it also makes you it also motivates you because you can see where it is you're going to end up and exactly how to achieve it you can speak to people that are veterans you can speak to people that are new you, can, you guys can try things together with that being said when you do find new people it also is going to be natural for old people to fall off and that that might look like friends, family, co-workers, etc. Once you start adopting and shifting and attracting the like-mindedness, the old habits will naturally fall off and the people that associated to those habits will fall off as well. My last tip for number five is tapping into your childhood dreams. Can you think about the one thing, I want you to close your eyes right now and imagine what you always wanted to be when you were a kid. Envision it. Remember how excited you were, how much this fascinated you and how much you held on to it and how real it felt at the time. Maybe you carried it into adolescence or adulthood, maybe even. Maybe a family member or a parent steered you away from that dream by telling you that it wasn't going to make any money or it wasn't substantial enough or, or you're not going to succeed. That little comment has such an impact on how you view yourself when it comes to doing the things that you dream of and it makes you question and that's when doubt and insecurity kind of starts really really early so tapping back into your childhood dreams is actually the best way not only to heal yourself from those experiences and to deactivate those seeds that were planted of negativity insecurity and doubt and kind of reignite that fire from within our happiest and most confident moments are when we were children and when we were just playful and joyful and everything in the world just looked beautiful from our eyes that's the key moment that you want to tap into because that's where the most creativity is going to come from maybe you were a really good painter maybe you were a really good dancer um you always wanted to try and pursue dance like professionally or whatever it was that you were really passionate about dig that back up and put it towards your soul searching in your adulthood all right guys those are my five quick tips if you want to hear some more in detail advice about any of these leave a comment down below about which one you've actually tried or are hesitant to try or you have questions to try or you just want to know a little bit more about how to rediscover yourself in your 20s and tell me which of these five steps did you resonate the most with i will catch you in the next video stay hydrated stay creative and thank you for watching essence of brand